Doing about those things for tuning in to yet another video infamous here, San Jose, California. Another beautiful day here and out here on the West Coast. Let's get on with the topic of today's ride. The $1,400 stimulus check that we just received if you made under $70,000 last year. So, so let's go ahead and just base this build, the stimulus build, that's what I'm going to call it, the stimulus build. Let's go ahead and base it off of a cap of $1,400. And if it was myself and it needed some, uh, you know, some, some custom touch to the overall build and only had $1,400, this is where I'd probably go. Now, depending on your riding preference, your riding style, depending on your age, quite honestly, if you're in your 20s and you're looking at more of a performance build, if you're my age and your 30s, then you're looking a little bit somewhere in performance, but main focus, a little bit more comfort. Usually, you know, there's there's body aches, back pain, knee pains, all kinds of different stuff depending on, you know, the person. So like I said, this is going to depend on the type of bike you ride, the, the, the model you got, and overall your riding preference or what you're looking for what you're looking for out of your bike, out of your build. Let's go ahead and kick it off with the performance build. $1,400 is, like I said, it's not a lot, but you could really make that that money uh, stretch out quite a bit if you spend it right. Starting off right with the performance build, we have to go with slip on exhaust. Again, 300 bucks, not gonna break the bank. It's not going to be a, a lot of performance, but it, you know it's going to be good sound and it's going to be more performance than, uh, than than your stock exhaust. You have a little bit more back pressure. We're going to go ahead and move up to the air breather. That's probably going to cost you another three hundred dollars, depending on what you got. You might already have a one fourteen air breather. That might be a performance one for for yourself. But let me tell you, when I put on my Trask air filter on my bike. It made a world of difference when it came to stage one. So just keep that in mind. Aftermarket air breather, it made a world of difference when I installed it on my 114 on my Lowrider S. Big difference, noticeable difference. So that's another $300. And since you're, you're, you're looking at performance, you're gonna have to tune it, get it right, you know, you're introducing more air into the uh, into the 114 or the 107, whatever you got, 103. Depending on what you got, you're introducing more air, and you, you want to make that count. If you're looking at performance, you're gonna you're gonna have to get a tuner. So depending on what you're looking at aftermarket, you want to keep your warranty. Like myself, if you're looking at keeping your warranty, you're gonna look at another $330. So we're already at about a thousand bucks. Now we have about $400 left. This is the performance build. $400, it ain't much, but it's enough to complete the performance build. Now, depending on what you're looking for, you might want to go a big, a big brake kit. If you don't care about stopping, <laughs> if you don't care about braking or anything like that, then I'd recommend a seat something to kind of push you up closer to the tank give you more of an aggressive uh, overall feel on the bike the stock seats they're a little bit laid back a little bit more situated a little bit more relaxed overall feel on the bike if you get yourself a, a step up or maybe a kickflip lapera that seat typically pushes you up forward closer to the to your mid controls closer to the overall you know tank gives you a, a more more of an aggressive feel overall you could go either or with those last 400 bucks or last you know 450 depending on on what you got there's a lot of stuff there for you to play around with I'm gonna be posting up the images the builds in the video I'm, I mean there's there's a lot of stuff to kind of keep in mind this is this is a topic where I, I believe anybody can go on for hours and hours and hours and people can actually spend you know hours and hours planning planning these builds dreaming about these builds you can spend a whole lot of time and 
the video is going to be kind of long, but you guys go ahead and, and leave your, your own list of, you know, $1,400 budget builds. Go ahead and leave them in the comments. Go ahead and uh, share what, what you have on your bike or how you would go about it on your bike. And then if you want, also want to include the model, because I, I, like I said, I think the model is going to be a key, the model is going to be a key factor on the build. So go ahead and, and leave your, your model and leave your, your list of parts in the comments. Like I said, I, I read everything and I enjoy reading your guys' comments, reading your guys' own thoughts. You know, it's just the overall feedback is welcomed. Thank you for your cooperation. Yeah, just stay out there, stay safe. Don't believe everything you read. Life's a risk. Get out there and ride. Later. <laughs>